Chinese, my version as usual. Um, so I'm going to go through my ingredients after I give my opening greeting to you. Thank you for viewing my channel. Um, and thank you for everyone that's been subscribed for many years. And thank you for the ones to come. Please like, share, and comment on the videos. So, when I come back, we're going to get into these ingredients. Alright, I am back. Um, I have some pork steak that I have here. You can use chicken or turkey, whatever you desire. Um, I have bought these, uh, I'll save the pack so I can show you guys. Um, they're called Steakhouse, Season Steakhouse um, Grilled. Well, you could put them on a grill steak. And I was going to put them on a grill, but <clears throat> and it was only $5. But I just decided that I'm going to make a stir fry out of them. I got some uh, stir fry veggies with peas, carrots, red, broccoli, red and yellow peppers. Oh, they got peppers in here already. Oh, I might have to pull those water chestnuts out. I don't like them. And then I have also some bean sprouts, which I'm going to use in my uh, shrimp fry rice. I have some. These are probably like medium to large shrimp. They already was demained and cleaned, peeled. I have some red white onion red peppers and green peppers in there that i chopped up for my steak stir fry and here i have my green onions that's mainly for my um i might put some in my stir fry i don't know that's mainly for my uh my rice which i have my rice normally to make a good stir, uh, shrimp fried rice, you need to have your um, rice real cold. And it needs, usually they suggest, from a friend of mine, she suggests that you do it overnight. Or, you know, let it sit. So I had just did it probably about, maybe about close to 45 minutes ago. So I put it in the freezer real quick so it can, so I will be doing the shrimp fried rice last. And I have my soy sauce. I have uh, some sesame seed oil, parsley flakes, garlic, I mean onion powder, some minced garlic, some adobe of course, and some more garlic powder, but I probably won't be using that. The steak is already seasoned, so I'm not going to add any more seasoning to it. Um, I probably will add um, a little brown sugar to it. I was going to do honey, but I think I'm just going to do brown sugar. So let's get into this recipe. When I come back, we're going to get started. All right now. Okay, I am back. I'm going to put a little of my sesame. Oh, this is soy sauce. Don't want to put that in there yet. My uh, sesame oil in here. And um, you only need a little of this. this. This stuff, like they say, a little goes a long way. I ain't lying, and it's strong, very, very strong. So we're gonna let that heat up. I'm gonna put my um, sorry, that was my trash. I'm gonna uh, swing this around a little bit, and um, I'm gonna put my meat in first, and then I'm gonna add <clears throat> my veggies. Now you do not have to use. The veggies that I'm using. I just did something quick because I'm starting dinner kind of late and I wanted to go ahead on and get started. So you don't have to use the veggies I'm using. You can use whatever kind of veggies you will like. Um, I'm going to start putting this meat in. Yeah, that's the sound you want. You want to hear some sizzle in there. Now we're just going to saute this a little bit. And then we're going to add our veggies in. 
Now this is going to be really good, y'all. We'll be able to eat on this for a couple of days. Because I'm going to barbecue on Monday, the holiday. And the reason why I've done my own Chinese food before. But the reason why I'm really gearing toward doing my own is because uh, I got sick, real sick, the last time. The very last time I had Chinese and it was from a place, I'm not going to name, but it was from a place that um, I eat at a lot. And I was really shocked that I got sick. So, um, I just want to really start, which I do cook at home a lot anyway, but I'm going to slow down on a lot of the um, eating out. Okay, so that's enough meat right there. I got a few other little pieces left that I'm going to put up. It ain't that much. So, when we come back, or when I come back, <laughs> um, I'm going to go to the next step, which is adding um, some veggies in here. And then I'm going to add my vegetables. All right now. Okay, I am back. As you see, my pork steak has um, cooked on one side so now I'm going to add in some onions and a little other bell pepper and I think it's a little pieces I can still add all of this stuff I didn't know it was in the, the veggies already but that's okay so we done added that in. And then we just gonna give this a stir. And it smells so good in here, y'all. This looks so good. So I'm just going to let this go for a little bit. Um, I'm going to add the veggies after this. And then I'm going to add in my soy sauce, a little brown sugar. Oh, and I forgot to put the garlic in. Some garlic. About a teaspoon of garlic. I got fresh garlic in there too, but I want to use this mess because I haven't been using it. I don't want it to go bad. So I'm using a teaspoon of garlic. Just mix that in there. And you can serve this. I'm going to serve it um, along with the shrimp fried rice, but you can also make like. Um, a gravy or you can serve it over rice over white rice you know the other way you want to do it I'm going to add it in a little parsley add on a little parsley and I'm going to give this a stir This look good, y'all. This looks wonderful. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this look good. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in these veggies. Get these veggies in. This is gonna be a big stir fry here. Push it down so you make a bigger pot. It'll be all right. We're gonna get it in here, y'all. So we got snap peas in here, broccoli, carrots, and I think squash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very healthy today. We're gonna eat. It. So I'm gonna get this a stir, and I'm gonna season just a little salt and pepper on these veggies. Salt 
salt and pepper on them. And then we're going to put the soy sauce on it. Okay, so I'm going to give y'all a little, little close-up of the process here. Then, okay, I'm going to put some soy sauce. Oh, I'm going to season it first. Black pepper. Black pepper. And um, I'm going to do a little onion powder. Even though I got onion in here. Just a little um, veggies. And then um, a little adobe all-purpose seasoning. Okay, so now we're going to uh, give this a stir. And we're going to add in our... I'm going to do like a little mixture here. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. And then we're going to turn right now, it's on medium. We're going to turn it down to low. So, okay, I'm going to turn y'all over here. As you can see. Get my stuff out the way so y'all can see here. Wipe down my counter. Okay, now I'm going to put some brown sugar. So probably about a couple of teaspoons of brown sugar in here. And some soy sauce. You also can use uh brown sugar. You also can use um, uh, Worcestershire too, as well. Okay, so I'm going to use about that much, not that much in there. I could use the rest of this, but it's not really that much in here. I have another bag. Okay, I'm going to discard that. Hands washed. And then, I'm going to whisk it. I'm going to move that. And then I'm going to put some um, soy sauce in here. And kind of mix it in a little, make a little sweet and salty sauce. So I'm going to get that a whisk. And then we're going to add it to our meat mixture and veggies. And then we're going to work on the shrimp fried rice. So I will be back with the next step. All right now. Okay, so I'm going to add my brown sugar and soy sauce to... My veggies and meats. Mm. Okay. And then we're just going to leave it on high for a little bit. Stir this in. Leave it on high for a little bit. I should have added a little. Uh, should have added a little. Uh, flour to that. That's okay. Oh, this looks good, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to put this 
over here on the other side because I'm about to work on my, I'm going to put it on, on down low and get my skillet ready for my rice, to do my rice. And this is just how I do it. I don't like eggs in my rice. So I don't add eggs. But if you want to, you can do you some scrambled eggs to the side and put them in there. How cold did it get? It feels a, it feels a little cold. Okay, we're going to start um, our rice off the same way with some um, sesame oil. And like I said, a little goes a long way, so you don't have to put a whole lot. So we're just going to get this all in here, all coat it good and let it get hot. Then we're going to add some we'll top over this. Make some cup. God, it smells good in here. Okay, so let me see how my rice is. This is my rice, y'all. I put my rice in there and it's still kind of kind of warm a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to rinse it in cold water. What's up, food? Hey, here you go. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Fine, how you doing? Show the show the show the grandbabies again. He lost his tooth. He got the tooth fairy came last night. Oh. I took next Uh huh. Joel's right here. He sleep. Oh, he knocked out. Yeah, Masai is right here. He sleep. Everybody sleep. Look. Oh. Hi. 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 Hey, you on my cooking show. Tell him you on my cooking show. You on her cooking show, so I gotta go back outside. Okay, that was my son and grandkids. So, I'm going to, uh, let's see, let me pull it up a little bit. Okay, yeah, because it's starting to burn. I don't want it to burn. Put it on low. I turned it down some because it was getting too hot. And I don't want my uh, uh, rice to burn. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to these shrimp first. Normally I would do my rice first. And I'm going to do these shrimp first. And I'm going to season them with a little garlic powder and some salt. Always make sure you season your seafood. Onion powder. a little salt. Okay, and then we're gonna get that a stir. A little stir. And I just want to make sure they are a 
light pink till they turn pink then that's when you want to uh, take them out because you don't want to cook them and then I'm going to take these out and then I'm going to put a little more oil and add my rice in these shrimp is cooking pretty fast I'm putting the shrimp over here. I'm going to turn this off. The thing is loud, that fan. I'm going to put all the shrimp over here. Like I said, it don't take long. I'm about ready for some jambalaya and I'm ready for some gumbo, y'all. Just got to get a little more chili. And then we'll be set. Both of them, I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to, because I don't want this juice in my uh, skillet. I'm just going to take a paper towel and go through this. I don't want this juice in my skillet, my uh, rice. And I'm just going to add in some more uh, oil. Okay. That's garbage. Oh, no, that's not garbage. Okay. All right, I'm back. I just, I got a little bit more right here. Um, I just, Took all the juice out of because I didn't want all that juice in my my uh, rice. So now I'm gonna add some more sesame oil. Turn it up a little bit because your rice is supposed to be cooked on a high fire. Get my trash in the garbage. Let's check on our meat mixture here and veggies. See how they rolling. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. I think I am going to put a little flour in here to thicken this up. I don't have no cornstarch, I don't think. I'm going to cook a little bit more. Then I'm going to add a little to that. Okay, I'm waiting for my skillet to get hot. Well, I'm going to add in the rice first. And then I'm going to add in a 
the rice, and then I'm going to add in the veggies and my sprouts and all that. I'm just going to let this toast for a little bit. Toast for a little bit. And then I'm going to add in my green onions, which I like a lot of. I like a lot of green onions. Green onions. I'm just going to cook that together. Put that get in there. Then I'm going to add in some minced garlic. Open up a little bit more. And we want to add in our bean sprouts. First time I use them in the bag. I usually get them off the can. I'm gonna use it just for some in my steak mixture too. Honey, it smells good in here, honey. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I'm gonna put a little in here as well. And what I like about these, they cook down. But they give your dish a good texture. Okay. So, I don't know how much y'all put in there, y'all. Just wing it. Maybe about a cup or two. It depends on how, mi how much you like it in your, your dish. Okay, so I'm going to let that keep going. And I'm going to give this a stir. Okay. I'm going to say, now, how do the rice turn brown? Soy sauce. Five times brown soy sauce. Okay, but we're going to add, before we add our soy sauce, we're going to add in the shrimp. A little juice on there. Get in the shrimp. So let's stir. I'm turning down some. My rice is starting to stick. I don't want it to stick. Now you can add peas, carrots. Whatever you want in your rice. Like I said, if you want eggs, you can add that as well. But I don't like eggs that like that way. When I eat eggs, they have to be scrambled with cheese. And I don't like it in my rice. But if you want it in yours, you can put it in yours. Now for the last step is the soy sauce. And this is what turns your rice. And you got to be careful because you don't want it salty. So I'm going to go in one time, turn it down some. Just keep mixing it in until all the rice is combined. It's not white no more. It's not supposed to be white no more. It's supposed to be whatever color you 
want it to be, which is brown. Well, I like mine's brown. My rice. Okay. That looks good. That looks good, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to take it off because I don't want it to get mushy. I'm going to taste a little of it. See how it is. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. That's the bomb, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Let me show y'all this rice. Shrimp fried rice. Mm hmm. Look at that. Okay. So, I'm going to look over here and put the top over there. And this is my little mixture here now my little meat mixture and veggies I'm going to uh, put a little flour in this maybe about a tablespoon just to thicken up the sauce a little bit but other than that I'm done this is my dishes my Chinese dishes I know how to make more I just didn't make more <laughs> um, because I'm kind of rushing. I should have been done with dinner a long time ago. But if you want to see more recipes like this, um, this recipe will be in the description box. If you want to see more recipes like this, hit the girl up, subscribe to me.